All right, everyone, welcome to Vicky3 Academy, and we're discussing another critical technology here on We Play Games. This is gantry cranes. So gantry cranes is one of these military technologies that doesn't help you win the, the ground war. So you'd be like, I don't know, I'm not even 100% sure that I care about a navy. Well, for those of you who have used a navy, you should understand exactly how powerful it is. Um, but for those of you who've used a navy, you should also know that ironclads although they're incredibly powerful they do something to you they make it so that you're you make steamships on your shipyards instead of clippers and then you're you end up with all of these steamers and you're not even sure what you're supposed to be doing with them because you can't seem to use them on your ports and the reason you can't use them on your ports everybody is because of of gantry cranes you actually if you do not have gantry cranes and you invent ironclads, then you have no way of using all of the steamers that you are making. So they basically are just like they're lost money. Um, whereas gantry cranes, obviously, they, that allows you to capture that back. But much more than that, it transforms the nature of your ports. So per level port modifier plus seven seven and a half infrastructure, three hundred fifty convoys. For those of you like familiar with with ports. Um, those numbers should look a little surprising because you're like, oh man, it's that's that's a huge upgrade, a huge upgrade in terms of the efficiency um, per pop working in ports, and it is. Um, the this is a gigantic upgrade in terms of the efficiency of your ports, and so if you are conducting any sort of ma massive amount of trade or supply um because keep in mind that like the the requirements on your convoys it's not just going to be on your trade routes it's also on port connections right that's important too um trade routes obviously are, are like a big deal but but port connections are going to matter too and they're going to tax your convoys and and the more convoys you can get without having to dramatically overbuild your ports the better um and so if if you are trying to get to your to to get to a reasonable point as a world power in victoria 3 then you are almost certainly going to have to pick up ironclads this is going to dramatically spike the power projection on your shipyards or on your on your naval bases when you use the, the ironclads you see that navy power projection not to mention the fact that it does make your troop your uh, ships actually fight better but this is just this is this is an unbelievable upgrade in terms of the the strength that you get and the strength that you get to project because you can you can get a lot of people to just back down um, but but gantry cranes is the way that you, you actually benefit from it ironclads will will help you conquer territory but gantry cranes will help you will help you um, become incredibly rich off of the territory that you control all right. Uh, yeah, that's Walker. That's another really fast uh, video, but I, I think that some of these, honestly, they're so good that that you just need to make sure that you slot them somewhere in. Uh, I think generally because of these two being so so closely linked and because of the way um, costs work in regards to your technology, I think you probably want to push them off until you can research them back to back. Um, which one you go first kind of depends on your needs. If you have a big enough economy that you can forfeit some of your steamers just being worth absolutely nothing, then you can go to ironclads. Whereas if you need to, if you need to do things in a way that's economically efficient, because you're not like you know a number one great power yet, then you can go gantry cranes into iron into ironclads. There's nothing wrong with that. But you, I would get yourself to a point where you can do that without it being like 15 years, right? This would be five years, and that'd be five years. Absolutely not. Okay. Yep. That's uh. Yeah. That's Walker. All right. Take care.